Chapter 21 When Sunday rolled around, Jess couldn't tame the butterflies in her stomach. Would her mother really go to church with them? You ready? Emily asked with an encouraging smile. Jess swallowed and nodded. At the base of the stairs, Chad waited, looking more handsome than Jess had ever seen him. His black leather jacket still graced his shoulders, but underneath he wore a blue button-down shirt that enhanced the color of his eyes and a pair of black slacks that accentuated his other assets. This was not his first time attending church, but it was the first time he had dressed so nicely. Wow, Jess breathed. You clean up nice. Thank you, he said. His normal bravado was missing from his voice, but the remaining tone was rich and silky. He closed the distance between them and met Jess at the stairs as her feet were still not cooperating. Taking her hand, he locked eyes with her. I told you I would prove I was father material to you. This is just step one. As he led the way out of the parking lot, Jess wondered what he had in mind for the other steps. Uh, my car is this way, Emily said, pointing to the right. I thought we'd take mine, Chad said with a smile as he led them to a silver Chevy Traverse. When did you get a car? Jess asked. The only vehicle he had ever talked about was his Harley. Yesterday, when I sold my Harley. Jess's jaw dropped. You sold your motorcycle? But I loved riding it with you. Do you have a car? Chad asked in a teasing tone. Well, no. I sold mine to help pay bills when I moved out of my mom's house, she said. He squeezed her arm and smiled. Then one of us needed a car to put a car seat in. We can always get another motorcycle later when we can afford it. Jess blinked at him. The baby wasn't even due until late summer, and he was already thinking about car seats. Besides, in a few months, you'll be too big to ride behind me, he said with a glint in his eye. Jess playfully slapped his arm, but he was right. In another few months, holding on to him would have become a problem. All right, you lovebirds, Emily said. Let's get going. We still need to get your mom, right, Jess? Yes, we do, Jess agreed. You don't mind, do you? Chad didn't mind. In fact, he was super curious to meet anyone from Jess's family. She had only ever mentioned her mother, but even those mentions had been few and far between. He pulled into the hotel parking lot Jess directed him to and parked the car. Do you want me to go in with you? She shook her head. No, I'll run in and grab her and be right back. Jess jumped out of the car before he could say anything else and hurried into the hotel. Have you met her yet? Chad asked, turning to Emily. No, but I hope for Jess's sake she really has changed. Chad wondered what that meant and made a mental note to ask Jess later. If they were going to do this right, he needed to know all of her, even the stuff she wanted to keep hidden. A few minutes later, Jess and an older woman emerged. Other than the few gray streaks sprinkled throughout her hair and the few extra wrinkles on her face that hinted at her older age, the woman could have passed for Jess's older sister. Mom, this is my roommate Emily, Jess said as she opened the door and ushered her mother inside. And this is my boyfriend Chad. Nice to meet you both, the woman said. You can call me Diane. Chad hoped he would have the chance to ask Diane questions later. He had a lot for her. But for now, church awaited them. So after everyone was buckled in, Chad pointed the car that direction. What did you want to talk to me about? Jess asked her mother as they walked around the campus. After church, the group had gone to lunch, and then Chad had dropped them off at the dorm so he could finish up work for the next day. Her mother had asked for a tour and Jess obliged, feeling the need to stretch her legs. I, um, I need to ask you a favor, her mother said, dropping her eyes. I don't have any money, Mom, Jess said with disgust. She should have known it was too good to be true. Her mother was obviously about to ask for money for drugs. What? Her mother asked. Oh no, Jess, I don't need money. I told you I'm clean. I need you to testify against Jim. No way. Jess shook her head. I've finally gotten past those memories and you've left him. Why on earth would I testify? Because Stephanie needs you to. She will testify too, but the case will be much stronger with your added testimony. There's a chance he'll get away with it if it's just Stephanie's word. You know how persuasive he can be. Jess shuddered at the memory. She knew firsthand how persuasive he could be. It was how he got so close to her before she realized what was happening. I don't know, Mom. I'll think about it. But I'm trying to put that behind me. 
there is a baby to think about now. I know, and I'm sorry I have to ask. I'll understand if you can't, but I truly think it might help with your healing as well, her mother said. Jess bit her lip and shook her head. How was she going to heal if she kept having to revisit the nightmares of her past?